Hi, welcome back to Bill's Cichlid Room. Well, today I thought we'd do a catch up on this tank here. Uh, we've not had the look at it for a couple of months, so let's see what's in there and what the fish are up to. So this is my American Cichlid community tank. Uh, there's quite a few species in here. Most of them are actually Central American, uh, but there is four uh, Geophagus Tapajas redhead, uh, which are obviously from South America. Uh, there's some Caletai tetras and some Buenos Aires tetras, and there's some of the Corridoras as well. So obviously they're all from South America, and everything else in here is from Central America. So what we've got in here is the Geophagus, as I just mentioned, uh, so there's four of those. Um, two of them were actually trying to breed uh, a couple of weeks ago, so I've put a video up of that, that was the last video I put up. Um, yeah, there's the Chocolate Cichlid as well, so this is one of the, the, the spawnings that I had uh, late last year. So the, the, this is the one that I put in this tank, uh, so yeah, he's growing on quite well. And the Bow Court, I... Uh, they're growing on really well, starting to get some coloration. So they were only tiny when I got them. They were about an inch in size, inch maybe an inch, inch and a quarter tops. Uh, so yeah, they're doing really well. Um, there's a group of the Amatelania autofluvi in there. Uh, there's one male and I think there's three females. And we've also got an Amatelania nanolatus female in here as well. Um, she actually did spawn with the male. Um, like uh, a month or two ago so I did have uh, a little clip of that in one of the videos um, but I didn't raise any of the fry I just left them and um, there's also a pair of Sajaka in there uh, so yeah they, they've actually tried to spawn on a couple of occasions um, so yeah I've had fry off those but again I haven't uh, raised any of those on yet and there's three of the Salvini so I think it's actually turning out to be two females and one male so the male's actually got a little bit of coloration um, in its belly region uh, and they're growing on really well. So yeah, really pleased with those. Yeah, you can see the Corridoris in the background there, <laughs> like they're cleaning the back wall for me. Um, yeah, so the, the, there's a group of six of those in here. Yeah, the Coletai Tetra. So they're a really, uh, really nice uh, tetra. As you probably know, I have got a soft spot uh, for tetras. So yeah, they're an unusual species. Uh, I've only seen them once. Uh, so yeah, they, they, they are quite a nice one. Yeah, it's one of the female uh, autofluvi. Uh, lots of nice cold uh, coloration on its side on that one. one of the female uh, Salvini that's the one that I think is the male that's just gone behind the bogwood in the back so yeah it's a community setting all the fish are all getting along quite well uh, there's no fighting in there no aggression uh, so yeah it, it's doing really well and um, the, the conditions for this tank it's got a pH of about 6.5 uh, temperature keeps to about 78 degrees Fahrenheit and it gets a weekly water change um, so yeah it, it's it's doing really well so most of the fish in here I did actually get when they were when they were quite small and they've all grown on together yeah there is the male Savina at the front yeah so just a bit ca bit of a catch-up really it's a couple of months since we looked at this tank and um, so yeah, but what I might do in uh, in future months is split them up a little bit and actually try to raise some of them, particularly uh, the Geophagus and the uh, the Sajaka. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching the video. Uh, please hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, and I'll see you all on the next video.